let's pick an example. And I read. A man has a wife and six children. And his total income in a year was 850 Ghana cities. He was given the following tax-free allowances. Personal, 120 Ghana. Wife, 30 Ghana. Children, 25 Ghana per child for a maximum of four children. Medical, 40 Ghana. The rest was taxed as follows. First, 200 Ghana cities at 10%. Next, 200 Ghana cities at 15%. Next, 200 Ghana cities at 20%. Remainder at 25%. Calculate is A, taxable income, and then B, monthly tax. So in a question like this, we are told that a man has six children, a wife and six children, okay? And the man was given the following privileges. Tax-free allowances, okay? Some medical bills, personnel, and so on and so forth. So let me list them down. So now, upon the information given to us, we are told the man has a wife and six children, okay? And over here, these are his tax-free allowances. So we are going to calculate his tax-free allowances. So tax free allowances, the tax free allowances will be equal to we have one twenty Ghana plus we have thirty Ghana for wife plus now we are told the children are six, but in this case the government can only afford a maximum of four. So we are going to multiply the 25 Ghana cities by 4. So we have 25 Ghana cities times 4, okay? Then plus the last one, which is what? Medical, which is what? 40 Ghana, okay? So we have 40 Ghana. When we add all this, this is going to give us 120, go back. This is going to give us 120 plus 30, which is 150. This is going to give us 100 which is 250, and then 250 plus 40, this is going to give us 290 Ghana. So we have 290 Ghana. So this is our tax-free allowances, okay? Now, for us to get our taxable income, our taxable income will be equal to, our taxable income will be equal to our annual tax, our annual salary, sorry, annual salary, minus our tax-free income, our tax-free income. So our annual salary in the question was given as 850. So we have 850 Ghana. His annual salary was 850 Ghana. So we have 850 Ghana minus the tax-free allowances, which is 290 Ghana. Okay? So this is going to give us, when we calculate this, this is going to give us 560 Ghana, okay? So this is our taxable income. So it, this means that we are going to calculate our tax based on this amount. So let's go ahead and then find the, uh, let's calculate, let's go ahead and then calculate for the tax. So we draw our table, we pick a rule, we draw our table, we shall have our remaining amount, remaining amount, we shall have our rate of tax or amount to be taxed, amount to be taxed. We shall have our rate of tax, and then we shall have our tax. Okay, so the remaining amount was 560 Ghana This was the amount left after calculating for the uh, tax free allowances and all that. Okay, so we have. 560 Ghana. So we have 560 Ghana here. Now the amount to be taxed in the first one was given as. I have to look into the book again. Tell you for help me. So first 200 at 10 percent. You may call call you. So amount to be taxed. The first one is the first 200 at 10 percent. So amount to be taxed is 200 Ghana cities. So we shall have 200. 
the rate is 10 percent okay so we shall have 10 over 100 times 200 which is going to give us 10 times 2 is 20. then we go for the next one we subtract 200 from 560 this is going to give us 360. Now, the amount to be taxed is, is 200 naira cities again, and at a rate of 15 percent. So we shall have 15 over 100 times um, 200. Okay, because the amount to be taxed is 200. This is going to give us 30. Then we go for the next one. 360 minus 200 is what? 160. Now, the amount to be taxed is what? 200. But this is less. The 160 is less. So we are going to calculate this amount on 160. So we are going to have 160 Ghana again because it is less at a rate of 20%. So we have 20 over 100 times 160. So 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0. 2 times 16 is 32. So this ends our calculation for the tax. So we calculate the annual tax. Our annual tax will be equal to 32 plus 30, which is 62, plus 20, which is what? 82 Ghana. So this will be 82 cities. So if we want our monthly tax, our monthly tax will be equal to 82 Ghana over 12. Okay? Because this is calculated yearly. So 12 months. So this is going to give us 82.00 over 12, which is equal to 6.833. So this answers our monthly tax question. And this is the tax I will be paying, or the man will be paying every month, which is 6.833 pesos.